Tonight, we show you how to get ahead of any financial nightmares hurricanes might bring this season. Brianna Hollis is talking with an insurance agent about the most common questions agents get after disaster strikes. Horrific. It's been horrible. There's probably 30 trees out here that are subject that are subject to falling on eight different houses. It can stab you in the back later if you don't look at everything, and we thought we did. In the case of the Carrolls in Bay Manette and the Youngs in Foley, the tree fell from a neighbor's property. Those um, are acts of uh, nature or acts of God, and so when that occurs, it's out of anybody's control, so it's not a, um, a liability issue where it would fall onto the neighbors. While on paper it may be clear that you're liable for the damages, when a hurricane rips through and a tree crushes your home, you're dealing with so many things at once and trying to get help where you can. Now, if it's your tree that fell on your home, like what happened to the reeds here in Spanish Fort, you need to be covered under wind and hail. Come to find out, we were not covered under hail and wind. We had an exclusion on our insurance. Allstate insurance agent Kenneth Morgan says he was slammed after Hurricane Sally and Zeta. It was absolutely crazy. His biggest piece of advice is understanding your coverage early. What your deductible is and what the triggers are for that deductible so you can understand what your out-of-pocket expense is going to be following a loss. So next time this happens, you're ready. Covering Baldwin County, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.